Today on the Extreme Channel, we're reviewing this giant one-fourth scale. I think he's one-fourth scale. We'll talk about that. Sif Wolf from Dark Souls. And I know nothing about it. God, I hope that wasn't a mating call. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really excited because this piece right here, as I said in the intro, this is Sif from Dark Souls. It's from a video game I've never played before, so I don't have too much knowledge about the character. I've owned him for quite a few years. I owned him because at that time I was collecting giant animal statues, and he fit in with that line really well. However, he's one of the few left survivors, and he is actually part of an awesome giveaway that we're doing. So Sif right here is made by a company called First Four Figures, which is very well known for their video game pieces. I actually have a number of video game pieces through them. I have their Sonic right here. You can check out the review on this piece, which I absolutely love. I also have their Bowser, which is another phenomenal piece, and their Mario. But one of you watching is actually gonna win this piece, so before that happens, I thought, you know what? Let's do a review on him and check him out because he is pretty cool. Now, to emphasize that disclaimer, I don't know much about Dark Souls. I've never played it. I don't know much about Sif. So if I get something wrong, your mom can comfort you because nothing triggers fanboys worse than when someone gets something wrong about a creature that's not even real. But I do know about statues and I do know about reviews, so we're gonna do a review on this statue. So let's start off with the concept of this piece and I do know a little bit of background about the concept. So he is in a graveyard at the bottom. You have a huge rock-like headstone that he's on top of and on the headstone you have grass and moss so it's been there for a while and it's this very cryptic elvish type writing i can't read what it says but supposedly it's to one of the heroes that he's actually guarding and what i like about this headstone is it's not necessarily a headstone that's made but maybe carved into a wall so maybe he's buried beneath this but as you move up he's guarding the grave that's what he's doing not only is he guarding the grave sitting up on top here, but he has uh, what I assume is the dead person's sword. And this sword is giant and he is very fierce looking. I love that. It's almost like you see in horror movies or suspense movies when you're sitting there and you look up and there's a giant wolf above you. And that also happens to me when I go out on Friday nights, but it's a fantastic looking piece, great representation. And like I said, I don't know too much about the source material, but I'm sure I'd love it even more. And I think the concept would be phenomenal, but I think it's a good standalone piece, even if you don't know the source material. Like I said, I've had it with some other large animal type statues and it looked great with them. So I love it. I think it looks fantastic. I give the concept a four out of five on this piece. Design, since this is so old, I do have the box, but I haven't put it together in a long time. So from what I remember, while we won't show the unboxing and assembly, is the sword is two different pieces. I believe the hilt is permanently in his mouth and the blade comes off. His tail is a separate piece, if I recall correctly. That it is. Strong magnet. And then the wolf. So it doesn't take a rocket science to assemble. Let's get the dimensions. Now the sword, obviously, is the widest part. The sword is almost 24 inches, almost two feet. The height on him is probably right under that. Oh, it's, it's about 24 and a half inches. And then if this was the depth, about 13, kind of hard to tell because you don't know what's the front, what's the back. I guess the tombstone right here would be considered the front. I believe this is one fourth scale. So I know Sif is a giant wolf. So one fourth scale means a real life version of him would be four times bigger. And it, he appears to be about two to three times bigger than a normal sized one four scale wolf. So in real life, he's probably about twice the size of a, a real wolf, I would assume. So really, the only thing I would really talk about is the seam line is fine with the tail right here. It is sculpted fur, which we'll talk about in the paint and sculpt, which I much prefer when you have an animal like this that's completely furry, I prefer sculpt over real hair for the most part. So I think that was the right move. I think the only negative is because the sword sticks out so far, it makes displayability a little bit tough. So for those reasons, I think the design's a three out of five on this piece. One thing I didn't mention, this is the regular version. They actually do make an exclusive. The exclusive has swords that are actually sticking out of the base. And maybe that's something they could have done with an option on this sword, it's sticking out of the base as well. But now let's do a video of the paint and sculpt. And honestly, first four figures has a very video game kind of cartoony feel to them. And I think there's a little bit of that in here, but let, let's check it out. All right, so let's dive in here. One thing I failed to mention is uh, regarding design and displayability. As you see, if you have him low, you don't get the full effect of his face. But let's start at the base here. The base has some pros and cons. The first con right here is the leaves. 
You know, this is a, a mixed media. This isn't sculpted down here, but it looks like trash in my opinion. Not a big fan of these leaves or blades coming out. They look okay, but not very good. I like the moss. This moss does rub off though, but it gives a good contrasting color uh, to this. So it's not completely gray with the tombstone being gray and sift being gray, you have that risk. So I think it uh, switches up nicely. And they added some brown in some of these rocks as well. Honestly, the, the paint on this and the sculpt look better on camera than they do in real life. They don't look bad, but uh, there's some good layering on here. I wish there would have been some more micro detail. There's too many uh, parts that are just a little smooth that give it a little bit of a plastic effect. So there's some opportunity there, I think. I like the writing though. Kind of a cool Easter egg. Now, before we dive up to Sif, let's look at the sword here. Sword looks good. Now it is, uh, I believe resin or polished stone. It's not metal, but it has that metallic look on it. So I think that was smartly done. A lot of intricate design in the hilt. And again, another silver slash gray color. On Sif's paws here, there's a little bit of variation on the fur. So a darker gray uh, on the toes and it goes to a little bit to a lighter gray and then back up to a darker gray on his skin. Uh, the paint's pretty clean. It's been a while since I've looked at a uh, canine's toes, but I believe these are pretty close and pretty accurate. Now, as you move up Sif, let's talk about the uh, fur here. Like I said, it's fully sculpted, which I prefer in a, a piece like this. There are a few parts where it's almost too smooth I would have preferred more of this jutting out. So I'm not a fan of that. They did a nice job uh, with the transition of layers and uh, layering on top of some of the shadowing of the black and grays and whites. Almost looks like there's a crazy purpose to the pattern. So I do give them props for that. Same comments about the tail. And there's a little bit closer of the seam line. Where he really shines though, I think the, the portrait is done really well. From the inside of the ears right here, that pink uh, flesh tone, his uh, beady yellow eyes, pretty freaky. And then the mouth, great job, very canine-like. Uh, the teeth, I guess there's a tiny bit of paint uh, overspray right there, or it could just be wear. The black nose, I think they did a very nice job. Very hard to film this. There's a, a look, like I said, would look really good with uh, the werewolf pieces. So big fan of the portrait, body's okay. Certain parts of the base I really like. Other ones I think could have been done better. And even right here, you can see that grass effect that I just disagree with. So as I said, not a fan of the plants. I like the tombstone, the front of it. The rest of it looks like it could be a little bit more rock. I love Sif a lot. I think he looks fantastic. Um, the sculpt on the fur isn't the best I've ever seen, but it's not bad. Paint-wise, very clean, like we talked about. I think the paint's a four out of five on this piece. I really, really like it. Sculpt is somewhere between a three and a four. You know, because it's a video game piece, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and I'm gonna knock it up to a four, even though I'm kind of second guessing that right now. So let's do a three out of five. And I can do that because I make up the scores. Value. So this is an older piece, so we're not going to give it a value score by any means, but they originally retailed right around $550 or so. I don't know how many they made. This one is numbered on the bottom, but it doesn't say an edition size. Also on their website, it doesn't say an edition size. So I don't know how many of the regular or how many of the exclusive they made. If you know that, go ahead and throw that in the comments below so other people can figure that out. But does this statue have the X factor? Is it five out of five? You know, it's a damn cool wolf. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, this would look really good with my werewolves back at home. So uh, maybe I don't want to give it away. I'm still going to give it away, but I think the setup would look fantastic with the werewolves. It'd look good with any other video game setup, especially if you have a lot of Dark Soul pieces. I've always wanted this one. First Four Figures also makes this Mimic piece. Again, I don't know anything about it, but it looks creepy as hell. I'm actually on the wait list for it, so we'll see if that pans out. But I, I don't think it's a five out of five statue. I think it's a solid, solid three out of five. It's a very good statue. It's not amazing. So let me know your thoughts below. Let me know if you wanna win this guy. So throw that in the comments. If you haven't yet, you need to make sure you're subscribed to try and win this guy. So hit that picture of me. Make sure to leave me a like on your way out as well. Really appreciate it. Take care.